There was no shortage of rhinestones and glitter at the Adrian Arch Center today. Dozens of women came out with hopes of becoming a Florida Marlins mermaid. With the judges looking on, the dancers tried to shake off their nerves and prepare to dance. And to add a little more pressure, the veteran mermaids were watching all the rookie candidates competing for a spot on the team. I just want to tell each and every one of them, just it's okay, don't be nervous, it'll be great. <laughs> this opportunity is above all. Boot camp is very, it's all about dedication and it's a lot of hard work. But you know, we've all been through it and it's just a great week to, you know, to kind of catch the drift of what it, what it is to be a Marlins mermaid. But it's not all about the costumes and glitz. The dancers make hundreds of appearances every year in the South Florida community. And as we learned, their presence is felt worldwide. The director and choreographer, Jose Guerrero, tells us what he's looking for in this year's candidates. What we're looking for, um, Marlins Mermaid's overall package. Somebody that has it all. You know, has great character, dancing ability, uh, has a great presence. We need somebody that's going to be able to go out in the community and be a good ambassador for the team. With so much to keep in mind during the auditions, we asked a few hopefuls what they did to stand out and push through the nerves. The adrenaline rush is just kicking in and I'm super excited to just go out there and do what I can do. At the end of the day, you have to put your nerves aside and you just get dance, give it all you got. I just feel like, you know, we're all pretty, we all can dance and it's basically what they're looking for and hopefully I'm what they're looking for. Once the auditions get underway, the dancers aren't the only ones biting their nails. The judges have a difficult task on their hands as they must eliminate dancers on the spot based only on a very quick performance. We had a lot of talent. I mean, we had 100 girls come out and a lot, a lot of talent. It was hard making some cuts up there. They have to have a full package. It comes with everything, you know, that, that you would want to see class. The finalists will go through a week of boot camp where they'll learn more choreography and endure killer workouts. At the end of the week, they'll have one final performance for the judges. We wish them all luck. I'm Marjorie Acosta, La Ley Sports.